sign friends welcome to my sign room my name is Beth and if you're new welcome today I am doing the second block in a little Christmas quilt along I'm hosting here's our block lots of half square triangles it's going to be a really pretty sampler type quilt I'm making two of this block let's get started to make my block today I am using some background fabric and some green fabric and I'm going to be cutting squares that are three and a half inches. This block, according to Barbara Brackman, who has an encyclopedia of quilt patterns, is a mosaic block, mosaic number 11. And doesn't have a fancy name, but it is a pretty block. After cutting eight squares of the green and eight squares of the background, I drew a diagonal line corner to corner and then I put a seam on either side of my pencil line. After getting seams in all of my squares, I cut down the pencil line with my scissor and you could use your rotary blade and then I pressed everything. I now have 16 half square triangles. After pressing, I took the squares over to my cutting mat. I used a smaller ruler and I cut all of my little squares three inches using that diagonal line on my ruler to center my ruler and to get that cut to three inches. Now it's time to arrange all of my little squares. So what I did is I pointed the greens at each other there in the middle, and then I put the next two squares with the green pointing out. This is the center of our 16 patch block, our mosaic. Now I'm going to think about, pretend it's a star, and I'm going to use the white triangles as my star points, so I put the greens together and the background fabric there sort of acts like star points and I did the same thing all the way around. This block is just, if you look at the whole thing, it's a little bit complicated but I broke it down into these segments. After getting all of my background star points situated correctly with the green triangles together. I went around and I put half square triangles on those outside corners with the green pointing in and the background fabric pointing out. The last thing we need to do is sew our squares together in rows and then put the rows together. I don't pin as I sew these single squares together, but once I have my rows, my four rows, I will be pinning the seams so that the seams come together 
really nice and we won't have any lost points in there. I chose another green fabric for my second block and I wanted to include my little uh, mistake I made. Sometimes I get in autopilot and I start making a different block. <laughs> Last time we put these two strips together just like this to make our 16 patch and for some reason, like I said, I was in autopilot and I sewed them together and then I realized, oops, I'm not making a 16 patch, I'm making half square triangles and this is not how you make half square triangles. So that's when I realized right there, oh, I, what am I doing? So I ripped it out, the seam I had put in, and I cut my squares three and a half inches, just like I did at the beginning of this video and now I'm on the right track. I drew my lines, and I, on this block, I used two different background fabrics just for fun to see how it might look. It's a true scrap quilt. So I made a second block and now I have four blocks, two blocks from last time. I talked about my little Christmas quilt along and this block too. So we have uh, a few more blocks to put together before Christmas. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time.